Question. 105. Your company has a single sign-on, SSO, identity provider that supports security assertion markup language, SAML, integration with service providers. Your company has users in cloud identity. You would like users to authenticate using your company's SSO provider. What should you do? A. In cloud identity, set up SSO with Google as an identity provider to access custom SAML apps. B. In cloud identity, set up SSO with a third-party identity provider with Google as a service provider. C. Obtain OAuth 2.0 credentials, configure the user consent screen, and set up OAuth 2.0 for mobile and desktop apps. D. Obtain OAuth 2.0 credentials, configure the user consent screen, and set up OAuth 2.0 for web server applications. Now take 10 seconds to think about the answer. Correct answer is B. To enable users to authenticate using your company's single sign-on, SSO, identity provider that supports SAML integration with service providers, you should choose option B, in cloud identity, set up SSO with a third-party identity provider with Google as a service provider. Setting up SSO with a third-party identity provider allows you to integrate your company's SSO provider with Google as a service provider. This means that when users try to authenticate, they will be redirected to your company's SSO provider's login page to enter their credentials. Once authenticated, they will be able to access Google services and applications seamlessly without the need for separate login credentials. Option A is incorrect because it suggests setting up SSO with Google as an identity provider, which is not what you want in this scenario. Option C and D are also incorrect as they refer to obtaining OAuth 2.0 credentials and setting up OAuth 2.0 for specific types of applications, which are not relevant to enabling SSO with your company's SSO provider. Therefore, option B is the correct choice for allowing users to authenticate using your company's SSO provider with Google as a service provider.